blessings, brothers and sisters. We're back in the land of the living again. Thank the Father for it. We're back in the land of the living again. And you know what that means? That means we have another opportunity to be able to get it right for his kingdom. That means that this is a time not to take it for granted. This is not a time to to, to be laxy daisy. This is not even a time to, to be wavering in your faith. A lot of us have allowed little G's and little L's to come into our life again. And a lot of these little G's and little L's have become so strong in a lot of people's lives in the body of Christ to where they don't even understand it. They're worshiping little gods. Brothers and sisters, you cannot serve two masters. You can't. And in this time that we're living in, these little G's and these little L's are trying to find their way in. They're trying to find their way into a lot of our lives because a lot of us are really not, I'm telling you, we're not really hearkening into the voice of the Most High God. We're not really hearing His voice. See, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, He says, there's a voice crying in the wilderness. And there's a voice crying in the wilderness right now. The Father is crying in the wilderness for His saints to be saved. The Father is crying in the wilderness for sinners to turn back to their first love. The Father is crying in the wilderness for us to be able to hear His voice. Amen. Listen to what He says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 25. Lord is speaking to his remnant. The, the prophets, where are you, watchmen? Where are you, prophet and prophetess? Where are you, apostles, real apostles? Where are you, church? Where are the ones that are hearing his voice? Are you speaking up in this hour? Oh, the Lord is speaking, brothers and sisters. I can feel it in my, I know it in my spirit, man, that the Lord is speaking. Come on now. In the book of Isaiah, Jeremiah, chapter 25, starting at verses 4. And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ears to hear. Here we are in 2020, at the end of 2020, going to 2021, and a lot of you are still not hearing it. A lot of you have, have, have became deaf ears to the word of God and to his messengers as he, they're sending the word and we're giving you warnings and we're showing you through the word of God, through the Holy Spirit that a time is coming that every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess but a time is coming here there's a shift going on in 2020 and a lot of you believe that there's nothing going to happen. A lot of you believe that there's a utopia coming. Come on now. A lot of you believe in 2021 that everything is going to go back to the up and up. A lot of you believe because you have voted a man into office that he is going to make things change. Thus says the Lord a host. There's a shift taking place. And this is the hour right now more now than ever before to us to bow down to the holy God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the everlasting, the I am that I am, the Abba Father, this is the time. Verse 5, they said, turn ye again now everyone from evil ways and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that the Lord has given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Turn from your evil ways. Turn from the things in the pride of life. Turn from the lust of the flesh. Turn from the sin. Turn from the homosexuality. Turn from every unrighteous deed in your life. Turn from it and turn to Christ. Jesus is our only help. A lot of us need deliverance and we're not getting deliverance from Christ because we're going to men. We're going to our own gods. We're going to our own ills when they cannot save you. Because they're not the way. Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And he says that no man can come unto his father except through him. Do you believe that? Verse 6. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them. And provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands. And I will do you no hurt. 
Ye have not hearkened unto me, says the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own heart. A lot of us are provoking God. Do you not know? And I'm going to stop there. Do you not know? Do you not see? That a lot of us have provoked God. We're provoking God even now in the time and in this, in this shift that is taking place. A lot of us are provoking God. A lot of us are, 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 are trying Him. Because we say, now, I don't need you, Elohim. I don't need your God that you claim that you serve. I don't need this Jesus, this Jesus that you speak of. You're provoking him. How hard would it be for a man to fall in the hands of an angry God? Can you not see? Do you not see the wars and rumors of wars? Do you not see the pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places? That's why the Lord says, lift your eyes unto the hills. Because your redemption draws nigh. Oh, he's coming back. But we're falling into a shift. We're falling into a time of a rebellious state. Be ready, brothers and sisters. Put away your idols. Put away your little gods. Put away your little elves. If I'm speaking in you, that's the word of God that is trying your heart. It's trying your flesh. And it wants it to die. You must kill the flesh. Sin must be dead to inherit the kingdom of God.